the Apostle Stephen Amaker. And this is Lady A. You are listening to the internet radio broadcast of Deliverance by Faith Ministries. Today we will be discussing the issues of our churches, our society, and our communities based on biblical principles. Hear what the Holy Spirit is speaking through our panelists today. Shots. Ten repeated shots and then a couple of minutes later, around the corner, a few more shots. Pastor Stephen Amaker woke up to this scene here at the corner of Gates Avenue and Marcus Garvey Boulevard. Of course, the pastor had no idea what was going on. No idea that an NYPD officer, John Hershberger, had been shot in the leg. Police tell us around 2.30 this morning, a sergeant and another officer noticed a man with a gun in his waistband. They approached the 22-year-old, but he took off running. And by the time the suspect saw Officer Hershberger and his partner, police say the suspect stopped, pulled out this handgun, and fired on them, then took off again. Hershberger has a graze wound, and the suspect was shot in the back. The shooting comes as no surprise to people who live in this neighborhood, but it's a harsh reality to Pastor Amica. We just had some more shots today. So, I mean, we got to do something about this. This is, this is really ridiculous in our neighborhood that crime, crime is at its peak. We need a, we need a positive change in our neighborhood. Nicole Johnson, Fix 11 News. God bless you. God bless you, the Apostle Stephen Amaker. And I'm very excited about what God is doing in our lives, in our community, in our city, and in the in the house of God. It's an exciting time. I'm very, very excited um, for what God is doing. I'm even more excited about what God has in store for us tonight. Uh, we're we're looking for God to to speak to us and to move, and and we're just going to enjoy the Lord. Uh, welcome to Deliverance by Faith uh, Internet r- uh, Radio Broadcast. And those of you that are calling in, you're welcome to call in. And we have an awesome, awesome speaker tonight. And this powerful woman of God is going to minister to us. And she's going to do our, uh, we're just going to let the Holy Ghost have her, have his way with uh, our guest, our special guest. Uh, again, I just want to say that I'm very, very excited. Just coming off a, a, a series of services, and the Lord is tremendously, tremendously moved in these services. I had the, I had the uh, pleasure and the honor. Uh, uh, if, if, if a lot of you have not uh, by now uh, picked it up. I am African-American. If you haven't seen my pictures, I am an African-American uh, man. Uh, in other words, I'm a black man. But the Lord allowed us for the first time in our ministry to minister in a Philippine church. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, wow, wow, wow. It, it blessed me so that I, I've seen some people that really are hungry for God and the things of God. That's what blessed me so much. But these people, they really have a heart for God. They want the Lord. They were excited about God. You see, I, I don't enjoy preaching to people who don't, who don't want God. So many, people, so many people want the things of God. In other words, what's in his hand? But they don't. They don't want him. Give me the blessing. Bless me. Do this for me. Do that for me. But they don't want God. They don't want to have any relationship with God. But every time you turn around, Lord, I need. Lord, give me. Do this for me. But these people, this this ministry, they they whatever whatever the Lord was into, they were in, and they showed it, and that really blessed. That really best. We had an awesome time this weekend. Uh, quite a few uh, events went on this weekend, but that was the highlight for me. Uh, I believe our speaker is on uh, uh, 347. Uh, hello. 
Phone number 347. Okay. That's not her yet. But we're just thanking God. We're just thanking God. We're thanking God for my uh, our producer and co-host, uh, Pastor Mike. God bless you, sir. God bless you. It's a blessing and an honor and a privilege to be serving the Lord and to be facilitating this broadcast here this evening. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited about what God is doing uh, through this, even through this broadcast. Amen. Uh, that what the Lord has been saying to us last Thursday we were on and we discussed the topic uh, should the church musicians and praise singers be required to live holy and brother and, and people of God if you haven't heard that go back into the archives and pull it up and listen to it that was a powerful powerful service um, uh, broadcast then the next week, next week, right here on Deliverance by Faith, 9.30, Thursday night, we will continue that series. And wow, we have some power pack broadcasts coming your way in the next few weeks. Uh, we have some exciting guests. We have some exciting topics that we will be talking the next week. But our next week's broadcast, so that you can start marinating, and by the time of the broadcast, you you can uh, chime in with us. Uh, next week's broadcast topic will be, uh, should the employees, those that work for and in the ministry, should they be required to live holy? That's what we're going to talk about. And we're going somewhere with this. And you say, well, you just said about the musicians. I, I said yes about the musicians. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of us are saying yes, but I'm seeing different. <laughs> people, people are saying one thing, but in, and, but then is, is, is the person that is in your ministry, did you, as a pastor, bishop, apostle, are you requiring your employees your musicians to live what? Watch this. What you're requiring the church to do? Okay, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that right now. Uh, is that our speaking? Uh, and we come seven one eight five five two. Is that you? This is this is she. Pastor God Kennedy. bless you. God bless you, Doctor Kennedy. We're so honored okay. for you to be with us tonight, and we're looking for the Lord to just minister and bless us and speak a word to us. Are you ready or should I give you another couple of minutes? Well, we are ready. Um, I am ready. Some may still be in commute. I don't know if right. they are on the line, but um, if they are, can they give me a shout out from Revival Temple of Deliverance and let me know that you're there? Can you just take your phone off mute if you're not yet there? then we still can move on. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. The Bagley. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise God for our Pastor Bagley being on the air. We thank God for yeah. her tonight. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Um, maybe perhaps she can just greet us a few minutes before we get started to give us a couple of minutes. You know, we were in Bible study, and some are still in commute on their way at home, and um, so I just apologize for our tardiness tonight. Amen. Say good evening, Amen. Pastor Bagley. Good Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes, I said. I, I said. God bless you all. Good evening. Amen. Praise God, God bless you. We're so honored, and we welcome to have you. We're thanking you for taking the time out to be with us tonight in this broadcast. Uh, uh, we're we're just uh, 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 we're just excited about what God is 
what God has prepared for us tonight. You know, uh, I have went conference conference recording started. I went to okay. some services, and 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 I've been in services, and they they told us to say, well, go ahead and uh, pull out your get your knife and fork, and uh, and get ready because we're going to dine at the master's table. But then when I got up and walked out, I realized all the master had for us was a Twinkie and a and a and a, and a, and a, and a, 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 a orange drink. And it wasn't even it wasn't real orange juice. It wasn't real food. But I know that this tonight we're going to dine sufficiently. We're going to get some vegetables. We're going to get some protein. We're going to get and this is the the problem with the. The church, we're trying to live without the necessary, and, and Dr. Kennedy, you can stop me and take over anytime you want. I was just giving you a minute to, to gather yourself. But we, 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 we were trying to survive off of junk food. Uh, Pastor Bagley, you are welcome at any time to help me out with this. If, 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 if I'm speaking something that you can... Uh, testify to, you're welcome to, to jump in until uh, Dr. Kennedy gets she's ready to completely minister as she desires. But uh, we, 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 there's so many so many people are trying to live on junk food. Now what's the problem with junk food? Junk food don't have the vitamins, the nutrients, the whatever. They used to have a commercial on years ago about Wonder Bread. And they said Wonder Bread builds bodies twelve ways. And and then and the protein they were saying and the vitamins in the bread. And 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 you don't get those you don't get those nutrients out of McDonalds and Burger Kings. <laughs> Let's just face it. Sometimes yes it's quick. It, it gives you a it, it fill you up in a minute. But but it does not it does not uh give you what you really need. It does not do the things that you need and give you the, the protein and the nutrients that you need. So uh mm-hmm. we're looking we're looking for for uh good food. Good food from the Holy Ghost. Because this okay. this this powerful this powerful speaker she is filled and not uh, uh, running on fumes. She's filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, we thank God for her. Are you ready, Dr. Kennedy? Yes, I am. Okay. Amen. Service is in your hands. We turn this service into the hands of Dr. Veronica Kennedy. Let's praise the Lord for her as she uh, comes. Thank the Lord. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, my brothers, my sisters, uh, men and women of God, every one of you. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're bringing you greetings from the Revival Temple of Deliverance Worldwide. And we're so happy to to just come and lift up Jesus with you on tonight. We bless God because we consider this a privilege and an opportunity every chance that we get to say something to lift up the name of Jesus is an opportunity. Amen. I uh, just believe that you all did start off with prayer already, but I I still want to pray even the more. I pray, amen, praise God, would pray that the Lord would give you listening ears to hear and that the anointing, most of all, would permeate through this airline, amen, that somebody will lift up their hands and cry out, what must I do to be saved? My prayer also is that somebody would be healed and delivered on tonight and that this would not just be another broadcast but that somebody would be delivered. Amen? That somebody would be edified, that answers would be given on tonight, that yokes would be destroyed, that strongholds will be pulled down. Amen? Can I get an amen for that on tonight? Amen? We as people of God need to be closer to God. We need a word 
from the Lord that will take us through. Amen. We could have been blessed greatly in prayer this morning, but because the days are shortened and so many things are going on in the land, how many know that we need, amen, more than one touch? Amen. Hello? We bless God for you, and especially you. Amen. Praise our God. We need, amen, praise God, a continual flow of the anointing of the Holy Spirit on tonight. Now, we just want to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight for another opportunity to lift you up, to glorify you. Line muted. By your name, we ask that you let self decrease, that you can increase. My God. God, that the people will have listening ears uh, in the name of Jesus, that your anointing will destroy every yoke tonight, that souls will be saved. We lose healing tonight. We lose deliverance tonight. We lose answers tonight. We ask that you move uh, by your spirit and by your power that every yoke be destroyed because of the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to say thank God tonight. Amen. We first of all thank God. Amen. Praise God for line unmuted. This great radio broadcast. This great uh amen opportunity. We thank God for our apostle Amen, Stephen Amico on tonight, an anointed man of God and his companion. And every one of you that's listening that we don't know by name and that we are not aware that you are here tonight. Amen. We bring you holy greetings again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. Ah, glory. And he is greatly to be praised. And I just want to let you know tonight, amen, from the book of Psalms, the 45th chapter. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to read that first and that second verse tonight in your hearing. Amen. They may be uh, other scriptures as we go along. Praise our God. And I'm just asking that you follow along and jot some of these things down. Amen. For we know that our God is an awesome God again and again. We're living in a time that so many things that are going on in the land and so many people are distressed and downhearted. And uh, even the saints of God, which makes it so grievous on tonight. I honor you again as well. I'll pass the Bagley on tonight. Amen. I thank God for you. <clears throat> Amen. Praise our God. Amen. The saints are being discouraged because it looks like, it seems like God is taking so long to bless. So many have petitions and, and things before the Lord, and it looks like you're not getting any answers, and it seems like it's just not going to happen. But one of the things I want to encourage you tonight is not to give up on God. Whatever you do, amen, just keep on holding on. You can take God at his word when you can't trust anything, when you can't trust anyone else. This is an opportunity and a time that God is trying to prepare his people so that we can be ready when he comes. Amen. Remember the Bible lets us to know. Amen. Praise God that there's going to be a great falling away and that men's hearts are going to fail them because of fear. Amen. And that many are going to be lovers of the flesh more than lovers of God, loving their own selves, loving. Amen. Praise God. Everything but God. And I'm here to tell you that this is no time for us to backslide now. This is no time to get weary. We have a newspaper that's so far advanced. My God, my God, that it, if you go back in the archives of the New York Times or the Daily News, I don't care how far you go back, you will not find what's in the Word of God. This is the greatest newspaper that we have. Amen. And this is the thing that the people of God and the world does not want to read. You know, you get your Bible. Amen. Praise our God. The first thing you might want to do is go to sleep. You get bored. Your, your, your attention span goes here. It goes there. It goes everywhere but where it ought to be. But I'm here to tell you tonight that we need to read the manual. We need to take instructions from God. We need to hear 
from the Lord. I realize I have not read my scripture as yet, nor have I gotten really into the text, but I feel a need, amen, praise our God, to encourage you on tonight. Amen. We've got to hold on to God like we've never held on before. We are so close to the coming of the Lord. Amen. Praise our God. That there is pressure. Amen. In the spirit realm. There's pressure from the enemy. Remember the Bible tells us that Satan, amen, praise God, comes to wear the people of God out. He's wearing you out, and he's not going to just do it, amen, throwing stuff at you and on you, but he's going to use you against yourself. He has no power against us, so what he does is use you against yourself, amen. Those of us that are filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, filled with the power of God, we have power Amen. Praise God. Over our circumstances, we have more power than the devil. Amen. Praise our God. Because the Bible lets us to know that he's greater within us than he that's in the world. And what we need to do more of, amen, is to tell our problems about our God more than telling our God about our problems. Because he already gave us a solution. He already told us, amen, praise our God, that all things work together for our good for them that love him how much do you love God tonight amen praise our God when we in love on the natural when we fall in love amen with somebody we want to be in their face all the time we want to be in their presence all the time ah just hearing their voice just makes us swoon amen praise our God it's just something of being around about being around that person that makes us happy that lifts us up uh, amen I'm I'm not talking about being infatuated. I'm not talking about being in lust, but I'm talking about being in love. When you are in love, you want to be with them. Amen. You want to do things with them. You want to share things with them. You make yourself love what they love, like what they like. Be around people that you don't even want to be around with just because you love somebody and you want to do everything to please them. Well, we need to focus more on loving God. Amen. The Bible says, amen, praise our God, that many people, that the saints of God, the love would wax cold. Ah, God. And this is the time that we're living in. And when we see these things in the word of God, we as believers need to get a tighter grip on God. We need to anchor ourselves deeper down in the word of God, in prayer, in fasting, uh, in supplication. And you know, we need to even ask God, if you feel your love growing cold, we need to go to God and say, Lord, I need you to give me another gift. I need to love you more. I need to seek you more. I need to trust you more. Because you've got to understand that no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is about to come. Amen. Praise God. But we do see the signs of the times and every word that would that spoke that would come before his coming has come to pass. The gospel's been preached to every nation. My God, there are signs and wars and rumors of wars. Amen. And Jesus can crack the sky any time. Don't you want to be ready to go back with him when he comes? Don't you want to? Listen, it's a sad thing for us to suffer and go through the things that we're going through right now and still die and go to hell. It's nothing worth it. When the Bible told us in the book of the Gospels, when it says that, my God, that what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. Praise our God. What would it profit us to gain this whole world and to lose our soul? Ah, my God, we need to get closer to God than we've ever been. I want you to understand something tonight. There's healing in the word of God. God still heals. He still answers prayer. He still delivers. He still saves to the utmost. Ah, God, we need to understand that the diamond road is clouded. That means the 
that everything, all this glitter and all, everybody is preaching prosperity. And no God, if you don't have uh, riding around in a name band car, walking around in name band clothes, you're nobody. Don't misunderstand me. I know God blesses his people. I believe he blesses his people. I believe in prosperity of the saints of God. We cannot prepare or even support the kingdom if we're broke all the time. We can't help nobody else if we're broke all the time. Amen. If we don't have wealth, if we don't be blessed, we can't be a blessing. But our main focus should not be on blessings more than the blesser. I'm a firm believer tonight that as we lift him up and obey his word, he will supply all of our needs. And the Bible lets us to know that there is no want to them that love him. He will give you some of your wants. Amen. This is why the Bible tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. He said all these things shall be added, houses, cars, land, and if you want to walk around in some minks and some furs, amen, praise our God, name, brand, whatever. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof in the world and they that dwell therein. I'm not mad with you. Amen, praise our God. I desire nice things. We love beauty because I believe God loves beauty. And if you don't believe that, look at the flowers. Look at some of the scenery. God is an awesome artist. God is an awesome, ah, praise our God, portrayer of beauty. We look at God's earth. We look at some of the places that God has created. No man, amen, praise God, can recreate some things that God has. I do believe in beauty, but saints of God, let us turn our hearts back to God. Let us seek the Lord with our whole hearts. Let us, my God, get back into prayer. Let us get back into fasting. Let us get on fire. Ah, God, is such a powerless church out here today. It's a very few churches that are still filled with the power of God. And because we speak in tongues, and because we shout, ah, because we can sing, and we can holler, and we can rear back and preach, does not manifest that you have power. Let me tell you what real power will do. Real power will help you to be able to keep your vessel with honor. It'll keep you out of the sheets that, amen, your husband and wife ain't in. It'll keep you in your right mind. It'll keep you, amen, and your heart in the right place. Amen. It'll keep you loving God and loving one another as we ought. It'll correct us when we get out of line. Amen. Praise our God. And when we start to do the things that's not pleasing to God. I don't understand how people can live like they want to live and do what they want to do and there is no conviction and they say that grace has covered it. I come to tell you grace is not grace tonight. Amen. But grace is the unmerited favor of God over our lives. We didn't do anything to deserve it, but Jesus did. He paid the price for us. He didn't pay the price. Amen. Praise our God for us to go on in our own way and do our own thing. I want you to understand tonight that your body belongs to God. Amen. My mind belongs to God. All that I have belongs to God. And if we really put it where it belongs, the Bible says, now unto him that's able to keep us and to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. You know what that says to me tonight? That says that you don't have a request that God can't answer. That says that you don't have a desire that he cannot fulfill. That says that you don't have a sickness that he can't cure. That says that you don't have a habit that he can't deliver you from. Oh, my God, my God. The word is alive. Amen. In the book of John, it says the word is spirit and it's life. Amen. My God, Jesus Christ is the word. Amen. In the church today. Amen. In the beginning, the Bible said in the book of Genesis, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Amen. Praise our God. In the book of John. Amen. The first chapter, he began to say, he said, listen, praise our God to as many as receive him. He gave us power to become the sons of God. Amen. Praise our God. The Bible lets us to know that he was born. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says, amen. Praise our God that he came, amen, and was manifested in the flesh. Why? So that he can destroy the works of the devil. Amen. 
Oh, can you just bless him tonight? I'm in love with Jesus. What about you? I know that the God that I serve is able to deliver. He's a cancer healer tonight. He's an AIDS deliverer. Ah, God, I know that he'll clear your heart. He'll heal your mind. He'll deliver you. He'll bring you out because I've seen him do it. The songwriter's song said, I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it over and over and over again. I have some in the ministry that was healed from HIV. Ah, God, I've seen God moving as we prayed for people. They chuck up cancer. I got right in the very napkin. Amen. They had gotten dark from chemotherapy and from radiation. Amen. Praise our God. And God brought the color back into their skin. It wasn't la- uh, a week long. It wasn't a month long. It was right then and there. Instantaneously. Amen. And they went back to the doctor and the doctor verified that they were cancer free. Amen. Praise our God. I've seen them heal cancer more than one time. I I've seen him heal. Amen. Praise our God. A young lady, even though she was not saved, I show you the mercies of our God. I've seen God heal. Amen. For full bloom AIDS. He healed her so well she was in the final stages. Amen. Praise our God and had a matter of days to live. And we prayed for her through the power of God. God healed her. God delivered her. But he gave her a direct command. Don't go back to the crack pipe and don't go back to the block and on the corner with that man that you were running with. He said, if you give me your life, amen, praise our God, then I'll give you a brand new life. Well, the young lady got healed. God healed her so well to an infidel down the street that didn't even believe in God. Said to my husband, told him, he said, I know the power of God is real. Amen for what he did, and I won't call the young lady's name. Amen. Praise our God. He made a believer out of unbelievers. Amen. Because God healed her body instantaneously. Went back to the doctors, and they did all kinds of tests, and they found no AIDS. But she made a mistake. She went back to sin, went back to the crack pipe and back on the corner. Amen. Praise our God. And this was about six months later, the report came that she was in the hospital. Well, AIDS never came back, but her lungs collapsed because God had warned her again and again and again. And you can't take God's glory and give it to the devil. God's not going to bless us to serve the enemy. God's not going to heal us that we can keep on. Amen. Praise our God living the life that we choose to live. Amen. Praise our God. Remember the book of of Romans says, Romans 8 and 28, that my God, all things work together for the good. Whatever you've gone through, whatever tragedy, whatever situation, and that's, he said, you work it for the good, for them that love him. And all the called according to his purpose. God is calling you tonight. Are you willing to listen tonight? That simply means not everything I do is good. Not everything I do is right. But God will turn it for my good because I love him. Amen, somebody. I give him thanks tonight. I give him praise tonight. He is still a healer. He is still a deliverer. My God, God healed. Amen. Another sister from Lucas. Amen. They healed. He healed her so well, calling on the name of the Lord and in prayer that she went back to the doctors and they dug a hole, just digging down even into the bone, so deep trying to find it. And it wasn't there. Oh, come on. He's still a healer tonight. I'm trying to tell you, don't give up your faith. Don't lose hope tonight. Don't stop praying. Don't stop seeking God. Amen. But if anything, get closer to God. Amen. And there were many that were running well. Used to be prayer warriors. Be the first one at the church door when it opened. Being on fire for God. Laying out on the altars. Amen. Praying. Amen. Until something happens. You got to get your push back tonight. You got to get your perseverance back tonight. Amen. It took that for us to get where we are in God, and it's going to take that to keep you tonight. Amen. Remember the old folks used to say, it's what it takes to get a man, it'll take that and some more to keep them. Amen. Well, we want to hold on to God. We want to get closer to God because that's where our strength lies tonight. That's where our hope is tonight. Keep 
your hope alive. Psalms 45 and 1 says, My heart is entitling a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I got a testimony is what David is saying tonight. Amen. Praise God. My heart is so filled with the glory of God. My heart is filled. It's indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. Amen. Praise our God. He says, thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips, therefore God has blessed thee forever. Ah, we know he's talking about a natural situation, and we know the kind of tones in the back, but I like to put that, amen, praise God, on our king tonight. He is fairer. He is God. He is greater. Amen. There is none that's likened unto him tonight. Oh, God, we just bless him tonight because he's worthy to be praised. He is king of kings. He is lord of lords. He is savior. He is redeemer. He is way maker. Oh, I bless him tonight. He is everything to us on tonight. Uh, none can do us like the Lord. None can bless us like God. None can keep us like God. None can deliver us like God. None can save us and keep us being saved like God. Amen. We go to so many other sources and look to so many other things. Amen. Praise our God. When we get in trouble and when things get really hard and when things get really rough, that's when we go to God and cry out to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Looking for deliverance and seeking him. Let him not be our last choice tonight, but let him be our first choice. Amen. Tonight, we bless him. He is king of kings. He is Lord of Lords. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. He is our Provider. Everything you need is in God. And what you don't have, amen, if we seek Him, He will make a way for us. He will provide for us. He will lead us and guide us into all truth. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Let us go to the book of Psalms, Psalm 145 tonight. I just want to remind you and let us know one of the things that we lack also in order to walk in total victory. Amen. Praise God. We forget to worship him. We forget to praise him. Praise and worship doesn't start in the service of the Lord when we go to church and, and when we go through our regular service nights. When we pray, we ought to worship, adore, magnify Him. We're so busy telling them, Lord, I need this, and my heart is broken, and, 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 and this one is doing that, and I don't have this, and this, and we are so busy talking about what we need and yes we should talk to God don't misunderstand but we should never stop worshiping him we should never stop praising him amen David said in that 145th song he said I will extol thee my God O King and I will bless thy name forever and ever do you know what awesome worship that is just that little part right there. He said, I'm going to exalt thee above everything else. Extol means to lift you up, worship you. I'm exalting you, our God. And then he says, my God, my king. Oh, God. A king reigns and rules and in control over the city, over the people, amen, over the nation. He said, I'm exalting my God, O oh king, and I will bless be forever and ever when we have children that praise us and honor us and respect us we will do anything for that child amen 
Some of us do things for our child simply because they say that's my child. But the child that honors you, that respects you, that lifts you up, that blesses and recognizes that you are their parent. I'm going to bless you, Mommy. I'll bless you, Daddy. Amen. Praise our God. We give special favor to because we ought to. Well, we are our Heavenly Father's children, and He loves to be adored. He loves to be worshipped. He loves to be praised. Oh, my God, when we adore Him, and when we lift Him up above our circumstances, uh, when we worship Him above our troubles, by letting the troubles know that our God is greater, not exalting our grief, not exalting our misfortune, our disappointments, amen, but exalting our God. Ah, come on, when we lift him up, when we truly bless him, when we give him glory, when we tell him how wonderful he is, when we tell him how much we love him, ah, behind our closed doors, uh, that God, I'm going through, but I know you're going to bring me out. God, I'm sick, but I know you as my healer. Father, I don't have everything I want or need right now, but you are God and you're able to supply all of my needs according to your riches and glory, and it's going to be by Christ Jesus. I just love you tonight. I just thank you because you know what we need to understand he didn't have to choose us he didn't have to anoint us i tell him thank you god for calling me for anointing me you could have given it to somebody else i'm not that wonderful i'm not that great uh, that i can look up and say oh i just deserve this my god but he's so good to us then david went on and said every day my god will i bless thee and I will praise thy name forever. I can be, ah, oh God, guarantee that, that some of us on this line tonight have gotten some things from God that we haven't said thank you for. Amen. The Bible tells us that he keeps us in, uh, from through danger seen and unseen. Amen. That lets me know right there there's some things we haven't thanked him for. Amen. Because there's some danger, some things he took us around that we weren't even aware that was about to take place. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves the praise. I want you to just stop and lift your hands right now and just tell him how much you love him. Just give him thanks right now. I know that, my God, somebody on this line needs healing in their body. Oh, glory be to God. Lift your hands and just worship him tonight. Ah, the Bible said he sent his word and his word healed. And he gave us power over all the powers of the enemy that nothing would in any wise hurt us. Uh, ah, Jesus spoke. Amen. When the centurion soldier, amen, told him ah, uh, that he had Amen. A daughter that was sick. He said, listen, you don't even have to go. All I want you to do is just speak the word only. And I know my servant will be healed. Amen. Praise the Lord. All God has to do is speak the word. He spoke and the heavens and earth came into existence. I come to tell you something even better than that. He took man and made him from the dust. He formed him from the dust of the earth. Amen. Breathed the breath of life into us. Amen. Into mankind, and we became living souls. All God has to speak, the Bible say, and man will live. He speaks, and man will die. Oh, glory to God. Why don't you let him speak favorably to you tonight? I speak the word and send the word, amen, that you be healed tonight, that you be delivered tonight, that you be set free tonight, that you grab a hold of faith, that you let the Lord work in you so that he can work on you, then that he can work through through you. Ah, glory be to God. Amen. We just bless him tonight. We love him tonight. Amen. Praise God. We pray, amen, that even after this broadcast and even after we finish the word of God, that you will call in for prayer tonight. We have anointed prayer warriors that can pray for you. Pray for your sickness. Pray for your healing. Pray for your deliverance. And the Bible said, if two or three gather together, touching and agreeing any on one thing, I will be in the midst. I'll do it. And I believe if we touch and agree for you tonight, that your body will be healed, that your finances will be released, that your mind will be regulated, your heart will be regulated, your mind will be fixed. The saints' minds are messed up 
today. Amen. Because you're looking for everything but Jesus. Amen. And there's so much out here. People are preaching psychology and philosophy and not the gospel. That's why there's not many results going on because he said, I sent my word and my word healed. My word is spirit and life. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 34 and 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth. And not only does he hear, but he delivers them out of all their troubles. Ah, come on, do we believe the word of God tonight, or don't we believe it? Do we still know that he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think? Amen. Don't let the devil tell you, well, I've done so much, and I've gotten so far away, and I haven't prayed long enough that God won't even hear me. Ah, repent and ask God to forgive you right now, and mean it from the depths of your heart. And I pray for your strength tonight that you'll be able to maintain, that you'll be able to endure. For the Bible tells us, amen, praise God, to endure to the end, the same shall be saved. If you hold out to the end, that gets rid of that greaseness, that grace greaseness that tells you that once you save, you never, you never can be lost. The Bible says that they that endure to the end shall be saved. Those that hold out, those that keep fighting, those that keep pressing. I come to tell you that if you're going to be in the sheets with Johnny and Johnny ain't your husband tonight when Jesus comes. The Bible also tells us in the book of Revelation that whatever state that I find you in, that's what you're going to be in. Amen. If you be filthy, you're going to still be filthy. You're going to be lost. Amen. The Bible also lets us to know, amen, one's going to be on the roof, amen, praise God, two can be on the roof, one's going to be taken and the other be left. If there was such a thing as grace, that is grace, and you can never be lost, amen, praise our God, then something is wrong, maybe my understanding is wrong, something is wrong somewhere, saints of God, don't play with your soul, go to God tonight, reach out to God, he delivers us out of all of our troubles, uh, amen, the Bible says in Psalm. Psalms 107 and 6, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. You can cry in your trouble tonight. Amen. And the Bible says what? And he delivered them out of their distresses. God wants to bring you out tonight. He wants to bring you out of trouble. He wants to help you to get strength. Ah, God, that you can be an overcomer tonight. Amen. You can cry in your trouble. That's the time that you really need to go to God. Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. I haven't done right in your sight. I'm not pleasing, but you can change my heart. You can help me tonight. Amen? Why? Second Samuel 22 and 2 says, And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress. And what else? My deliverer. He's our deliverer tonight. Oh, come on, give God some praise tonight. Give God some glory tonight. Hallelujah. I'm hoping and praying that I'm saying something. Amen. Praise our God. That will make your way a little bit easier. That will lighten your heart on tonight. That will strengthen you tonight. Ah, give him glory. Ah, bless the name of our Lord. Amen. Praise our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in James 5 and 16 that if you confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that you be, may be healed. My God, the Word of God, I want you to know and understand it still works. Somebody say it out loud. The Word of God still works. What has happened is that we stopped doing it God's way. The Word still works tonight. It says the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails as much. That means mankind, man, woman, amen, praise our God. Amen. And it says for sin, in Romans 6, 14, for sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. That's where grace comes in. That's where grace comes in and helps us. 
gives us overcoming ability, overcoming power. Amen. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That same God, the power of God. Amen. Praise God. Remember the Holy Ghost. The Bible said after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. If you prefer Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall have power. Amen. It didn't say you're going to have power to speak in tongues. It didn't say you're going to have power to dance. Though those things are included. Amen. So that somebody can understand and not be offended. Speaking in tongues is a gift that comes, amen, by way of the Holy Spirit. But the real power and evidence is that you have possess, that you have power to possess your vessel with honor. You don't need power to speak in tongues and to dance, but you do need power to be kept. You need power to live holy. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and all things become new. If all you have is the gift of tongues, and all you have is a new dance, and you cannot stay saved, I come to tell you, you need power tonight. I said you need power. Oh, come on, we thank God tonight because he's able to give us what we need. He's able to keep us from falling. I believe that's Ephesians 3 and 20. Now I want to him that's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of our God. He's not going to give us a command that he's not going to give us ability to do. Oh, I love you tonight. I love you on tonight. Ah, come on, can we just worship him? Can we just love on him? Can we just tell him thank you tonight? Can we just lift our hands and bless him on tonight? Oh, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, glory be to God. You can make it. You can stand. You can live holy. Ah, you can be fully delivered. God is able. I said, God is able tonight. Remember, he's able to do exceedingly. That means far above, abundantly. And he's able to do it so rich. Ah, God. Ah, God. Above all that we can think or imagine. But it's according to the power that's working in you. He's able to do what you can't even imagine, what you can't even think. He's able to do so much more. Ah, bless him tonight. Bless him tonight. Ah, bless him tonight. I loose the spirit of the living tonight. The power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare your deliverance tonight. Ah, miracles tonight. Blessings tonight. Overcoming power tonight. Ah, the Bible said, let the weak say that I'm strong. Let the poor say that I'm rich. Ah, come to tell you that the word of God acts, the prophet, the spirit of God said, is there anything? Too hard for God to do. I come to tell you there's nothing that he can't do tonight. I want you to know he wants to do it in you. He wants to do it for you so that he can do it through you. Will you make up your mind that I'm going to stay? I am going to stand for God tonight. So many are falling. So many are being deceived. So many are being tricked by the enemy. And we're not putting them down. And we're not here to ashamed anybody but we're here to say that god can pick you up god can clean you up he can deliver you he can fill you up ah with his power my god he can keep you from falling if you fall he can pick you up and do it all over again amen for the book of jeremiah lets us to know that if we restore amen our brother or sister or if one fall and turns away and we god has used us to restore them that that sin will not be remembered anymore amen Mm -hmm. praise our god but if you fall and you don't get up your sins will my god find you out be sure of that one thing tonight be sure of that that god loves you so much it's not his will that any should perish but that all should come to repentance amen get back into right standing with god let's get back in the word of god let's get back on our prayer bones let's get back to seeking him let's get back to calling on his name let's get back 
Amen. Praise our God through the Bible that we can love God like we're supposed to love God. Amen. Let's pray this prayer that I love what God loves and hate what God hates. Amen. Tonight, we praise you tonight. We thank God for you tonight. We bless you on tonight. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. I have our Minister Swinton. I don't know. Are you on the line, Minister Swinton? Are you on the line? Praise our no, God to get off. Yes. I would like for her to give a testimony on tonight. Amen. Praise our God. Minister Swinton, I'd like for you to just give a testimony on tonight. Amen. Of what the things that the Lord had done for you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. I think the praise of God on tonight. Amen. For God truly brought me from my money all the way. Amen. I remember the times. Amen. I was homeless. Amen. Sleeping in abandoned buildings. Amen. Sleeping in the train stations. Amen. Water around us. Amen. For the bedroom slippers on. Amen. Sleeping in cars. Amen. And God delivered. Amen. I even remember. Amen. When I met my apostle and I didn't know she would be my apostle at the time. Amen. My son was born with vitamin and giant for the brain. Amen. The doctor told me that his neck was going to pop. Amen. And my apostle prayed for him. Amen. And he's 23 years old, really old today. Amen. I just came to praise God for delivering my mind, setting my mind free. Amen. So when I came to the Lord also, amen, I could barely read or write. Amen. And I also thank God again for my apostle. Amen. I sat down with me and put the word of God to me. Amen. I just give God the praise and the honor, amen, so truly God is good, amen, and worthy to be praised, amen, I thank God for the Holy Ghost, amen, I thank God for healing my body, I thank God for healing my limbs, amen, I thank God for just waking me up this morning, clothes in my right mind, I thank God for just blessing me and delivering me and setting me free and saving me and giving me Teaching me the word of God even more. I just love him so much. I came to give God the praise on tonight. I thank God and I praise him. Amen. And I give God the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Isn't he wonderful? Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you that God is a keeper without a husband. 23 years in the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And he can keep you on tonight. I bless God tonight for you. I just want you to know that he is a healer. I want you to know that he is a deliverer. I want you to know, amen, praise God. I don't care what you hung up on. He was hung up for your hang-ups. He was hang hung up for your hang-ups. Amen. He is a healer tonight. He is a deliverer tonight. He is a way maker. He is a provider. He's a door opener. He's a keeper. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. And not only that, he's not a fair weather God. He's an all time God. He's with us in the lows, the highs. It don't rain too hard. It don't snow too deep. Amen. Your problems don't get too hard that God can't solve them. Amen. Praise our God. I bless him tonight because God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Ah, uh, is there a witness on the line tonight that he'll heal your mind? That he'll regulate the courses of nature in your body? Is there a witness tonight? Yes, it is. Amen, Amen. Pastor. Amen, Apostle. Praise our God. All the time. Praise he is a healer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Apostle. God is such a healer. He is an awesome God. You know, um, when I came to the ministry 20 years ago, praise the Lord, you know, I was seeking, you know, um, some place to go because I was stuck. I was in the mud. I didn't know which way to go. Um, I asked the Lord, I says, Lord, I need to be in a ministry where I can learn, where I can grow, where I can know you the more. And when I prayed that prayer within three months' time, the Lord led me to Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide Incorporated. And um, when I came to the ministry, I still had a spirit of suicide, praise God. And uh, through, the, through your ministry, God has used you to heal me, to heal my mind, because God is a healer. I had, I had a skull fracture three times, you know, from being abused when I was a child. And, um, you know, and, and how, what the Lord showed you and how the Lord used you to, to help me be delivered in such a time as this to heal my mind.
mind to, to deliver me from that suicidal demon because it was on me so long enough. And, and, and you saw that thing. And God delivered me from that. And I haven't had suicidal thoughts every now and then. The enemy tries to trick you and tries to tell, tell you you can't do this, you can't do that. Yes, you can, because what Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And anybody listening tonight, take that scripture and take that into your heart. Take what Apostle has said to you tonight, because you can do all things. You can be delivered. You can be healed. You can be made free. You can be set free. Why? Because God said so. God has healed me many, many times. I'm supposed to be six feet under, but I'm not. Why? Because of God, because of my belief. And God helped my unbelief. we got to sometimes say, God help my unbelief, because God is there 24-7. He's always knocking out our heart, and we need to open up our heart to him and say, yes, Lord, here am I. Lord, work on me the more. Lord, save me. And if I didn't even open up my mouth and say, Lord, save me the more. Lord, hold on to me. Lord, sometimes I try to hold on you, and I feel my my arms slipping. But Lord, grab me. You know, like a parent grabs their child. Lord, grab me. And I thank God for my leader, because if it wasn't for my leader, honestly, uh, saints, brothers and sisters in Christ, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I wouldn't be able to be open up my mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank God that the, that the Lord delivered me from suicide. And he is an awesome God. And I just want to share that with you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to also know and understand tonight, saints, that he's also keeping these women not in and out with Tom, Dick, or Harry, or Mary, or Sue. Amen? And he can keep you on tonight. Amen? He said, I'll keep that which you commit into my care. If you give him your heart, he'll keep your heart. If you give him your mind, he'll keep your mind. If you give him your body, he'll keep your body. Whatsoever you commit unto his care, he'll keep it tonight. Evangelist Edwards, are you on the line tonight? That you can let them know, amen, that God can keep, amen, and can also give them information, the number that if they want prayer, that they can call this line and get prayer tonight. You can call and read, amen, the men and women of God will pray for you tonight. And even after I go off the air, we will give you a number that you can call and, amen, leave your name and number and someone will get back to you and still pray for you. Amen. Evangelist Edwards, are you there? Hello? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless Praise you. Him. Amen. Yes, God is certainly a keeper. Amen. He has kept me down through the years. I've been with the ministry for 25 years, and the Lord has certainly healed my mind. He's kept my mind. He's kept my heart. He's kept my family. He's healed. He's delivered. He's set free. When I came, my mind was hanging on by a thread, manic depression, and through the ministry of uh, Apostle Kennedy, the Lord certainly delivered me and set me free. And I thank and praise God for the ministry, and I thank and praise God for all the things that God has done. He's a promise keeper. Down through the years, praying for my husband, he surely answered prayer. He's in the ministry, walking beside me. Saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. So God is a keeper. He's a promise keeper. He'll keep your body. He'll keep whatever you commit into his hands, as our Apostle Kennedy said. Amen. Amen. And as she was saying, that there is a number you can call. The voicemail is 718-907-0996. After the broadcast is over, if you desire prayer, someone will get back to you and pray with you concerning whatever that concerns you, whatever your issue is. Also, if you are interested in keeping in contact, if you would like to write, it's the Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide Incorporated, P.O. Box 120966, Brooklyn, New York, 112. One, two. God bless. And also, the number that you have that connected us, 
Amen. Praise God to this broadcast on tonight. You can also dial that number while we are on the air if you need prayer. These anointed men and women of God, our Apostle Amica, and amen, praise God, and those of uh, the others that are connected, we will pray you through tonight. We will pray for you, taking your request. Amen. If someone wants to be saved, I want you to know that God, amen, still saves Jesus. Amen. Died on the cross. My God, taking the shame, the shame, taking our pain, taking all of our grief, taking all of everything. He took it to the cross for us that you don't have to die in your sins. You do not have to die. Amen. Praise God without hope tonight. But you can receive and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Amen. Praise God. You can bring your children. Uh, Apostle, Apostle, I'm going to ask you uh, to, for the young lady to please give that number out again. Somebody was in the midst of writing and she said it so fast. I want the information for the phone number and the mailing address. Please give us that information again. A little slower and do it twice so that we can make sure that our listeners are uh, getting the information down, please. Amen. Sandy the Okay, the phone number for the voicemail is 718 718-907. Yes. Zero nine nine six. Again, the number is seven one eight nine zero seven. Zero nine nine six. Okay, and the mailing address, please. The mailing address is Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide Incorporated. P.O. Box 120966, Brooklyn, New York, 11212. And information again, please. Revival Center of Deliverance. Yes. Worldwide, Inc. P.O. Box. One two zero nine six six Brooklyn, New York one one two one two. Thank you so very much. May continue, please, Apostle. Amen. Sorry. I'd also like to reiterate that you can also call or take unmute your phone while we are on the air for anyone that mm-hmm. wants special prayer right now. Amen? And we will pray for you. We will take your situation before God in prayer. Not just praying a prayer, amen, praise God, out of formality. But we believe God tonight. We believe God to work miracles. We believe God to answer your prayer. We believe God to deliver you even right now. Amen? I don't know about you, but I believe that there's nothing too hard for God to do. Amen. 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 I want you to understand that he's able, again, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that's working in us. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know that he's greater in us than he that's in the world. That's Bible tonight. Isn't that a right, Apostle? Yes. Yes. Isn't that, yes. That's that's Bible, that he's able to do exceeding abundantly. And he's greater in us right. than the devil that's in the world. That tells me that whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, God's greater than that tonight. Amen. Amen. Do y'all believe yeah. that tonight? Amen. Mr. Bagley, would you like to say something? Are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here, but no, I'm just, I'm listening to one tonight. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Apostle. May I give, may I give that number, the desire to call in during this broadcast. You're welcome to call in at 857-232-0156. 
The number again is 857-232-0156. Let me say it a little slower. Keep you right like me. 857-232-0156. And then put 951-068 as your access code. The access code again is 951-068. And as you see, you're standing by waiting to receive your call and to minister and pray for you. Thank the Lord for, oh, oh, wow, wow, Man. wow. I, I agree. I agree with everything. Yes. <laughs> everything Dr. Kennedy has said. I agree a thousand percent. And because she gave us truth, she gave us the word. Not, she gave us the truth, nothing but the truth. So help our God that it, was, it wasn't no foolishness. It wasn't no, uh, you know, as, as Apostle you were saying, you know, you know, there's so many people, they switch you up and butter you up for you to slide right on into hell. Come on. What's, what's wrong with that picture? Amen. What's wrong with that picture? Uh, Everything. I just want, I just want to open up, if you don't mind, Apostle. Uh, I'm looking at the switchboard. Uh, I don't know what numbers that already spoke. I'm going to call out the last three numbers in the phone numbers I have, and you're welcome to... Uh, Minister, speak whatever the Lord has lead you on your heart. Last four, three, last four numbers is seven four one eight. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am, Apostle. I'm here. This is Minister Shipley. And you know, Apo uh, yes, Apostle. I tell you, you know uh, what my ears have heard on tonight. You know, God is just so awesome, and He's moving by His Spirit. Um, you know, you you cannot. Beat God's giving, no matter how much we try, you know, and prayer definitely changes things. And, you know, we need to have a mindset that God can do everything. You know, we have to trust. I know I, as, as a woman of God, I know I have to trust. I have no man in my life. God has been keeping me, you know, uh, through all these years. And if God can keep me, he can keep anybody apostle. God is just awesome, you know. And, and you know, uh, as the enemy comes to tempt you, uh, it, God makes a way of escape. And I thank God for that because many times, you know, as, you know, even as you're just resting and, and you're walking or whatever we're doing, how the enemy comes to boggle your mind and comes to throw so many things at you. And you're saying, where did this come from? Where did that come from? Devil, you are a liar. I am not thinking that. I am not going to do that. And sometimes the thoughts that come, you know, it's like a, a fiery dart. They're coming at you. But we have a ram in the bush, and that ram in the bush, his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died and nailed every single sin, all our infirmities, all our diseases, all our sicknesses. And if we could just trust him, Apostle, and just believe his word and not doubt, because I learned something throughout the years that, you know, uh, uh, sometimes Apostle uh, my pastor would say to me, uh, Minister Shivery, <laughs> you just canceled out your prayer. And I would answer and I would say, why? You just doubted God's word. So stop doubting what God is saying to you. Speak, speak the perfectness of God. Speak what God says. Don't speak what the enemy says. Speak God's word. I have life. I'm going to live. I have long life. You know, we, we got to be careful what, what comes out of our mouth because we can't take back what goes out in the atmosphere because this tongue is blessings and cursings. And, and, you know, I've learned to watch what I say because I have to guard my tongue. I have to guard my heart. And if I can do that, it'll be okay. Yes, yes, I make mistakes. Yes, but I got to get back up. And, and, and that's where our leaders pull us out of the pit. 
And, uh, you know, Apostle Curie, God is just so awesome. I am so excited what God is doing, you know. And then when my apostle yeah. says to me, my apostle says to me, come on up out of there. And, and don't doubt God's word. Hold on and hold back. Continue what God is saying to, to you. And I said, okay. And, you know, I intend to learn until the Lord takes me home to glory, Apostle. And thank you for this, this time in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Revival Center is in the house. You're having revival. To our listeners, this is what revival is all about that you can hear, not just one, per- one person, but God is sending witness after witness after witness about his, his, his power, the awesomeness of God, and what he's able to do in your life. Today, today, not tomorrow, today, let's do this. Come on, let's do it. Like Mikey said, just do it. Just do it. So we're done to God. Give him your life today. For those of you that are not saved, for those of you that are, you know, walking the tightrope, you, you're not quite sure, and you're, you, you're, you're hot and you're cold, you can't be both at the same time. You have to make it a choice. And today we open up to you, and we invite you to make everything, everybody you hear is human. We're all human beings. So nobody is no spiritual, you know, spiritual uh, angel that's sent down. But we're all human beings. In other words, we're just like Jesus. The Bible says that he was tempted in every form, every way. And then we have, we are testifying that, yep, we've been there and God has delivered us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, minister, again, for ministering to somebody. Somebody needed to hear that. And I'm so grateful to you for obeying God. Uh, number seven seven four. Would you, would you like to speak to us, please? Phone number seven three seven four. You on the line? Swinton. While she's while Minister Swinton is trying to clear open up her line, I just want to piggyback on what uh, Minister Shimley was saying about what yes. you say and uh, how you can forfeit your prayer. The Bible tells us in the Book of Proverbs that power of life and death lies in your tongue. And mm-hmm. you're going to eat of the fruit thereof. You're going to have what you say. If you say you're weak, you're going to be weak. If you mm-hmm. say you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. Often, mm-hmm. how many times, believers, do you pray the prayer, Lord, bless us. Lord, open up the door. Make a way. And then you go back and have a conversation, which might be your children or your friend or someone mm-hmm. telling look, I've been praying and ain't nothing happening. It ain't going to happen. Girl, forget it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. You just forfeited because you call God a liar. Amen? Mm -hmm. The Bible lets us to know, amen, that when we don't believe God, we call him a liar. Amen? Amen. And I want Mm -hmm. you to be careful what you say. Remember the word tells you, the power of life and death, how it's in what you say. And you're gonna have the fruit thereof. Amen, you tell your children, you ain't no good. You ain't never been no good. You just like your mm-hmm. daddy. You can't, you ain't gonna be nothing. You ain't gonna be nobody. That will carry them to the grave unless they get saved and get enough power to rebuke them words. You don't understand the damage that you do with words. That's why we need to speak wholesome words. Say what God say. Amen. Tell yourself, I'm gonna say what God say. And yes, not what my God. flesh say. Not what my circumstances say. Not what people say. I'm not what man say that I am, but I am what God says I am. Oh, Amen. That's good. That's good. Call us 7374. Have you joined us yet? Praise the Lord, Father. Amen. I just thank and praise God for that is truly good. Amen. And that is so true that you have to watch what you say out of your mouth. Amen. It could mean detrimental to your health. It could be harmful. Amen. The things that we say out of our mouth, that's why we have to be careful for nothing the Bible says. Amen. We got to also seek the Lord while he may be found. Amen. We got to always worship him and praise him and let him know that we love him, that he is merciful and great to us. Amen. How do you thank and praise God? Because God is good to me. Amen. But truly, he has been a blessing 
to me, amen. I thank you, praise God, amen. For how you bless me with the woman of God, amen. My apostle, my leader, amen. I just thank you, praise God, just for his prayers and um, fasting and everything, amen. I just thank you, praise God, just for being God all by himself, amen. I just want to encourage you that you can be saved, amen. You can live saved, you can live holy, amen. You can sin, you can make it, amen. You can be healed, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy to be saved. He can heal you. He can deliver you. He can set you free. Amen. I am a living witness. Amen. He is a miracle worker. Amen. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. Amen. He woke you up this morning, clothed in your right mind. Amen. You have the activity of your limbs. Amen. Your hands can move. Amen. Your legs can move. You can speak. Amen. You can see. You can hear. Amen. You can even breathe. Amen. The Bible said, Amen, in the book of Genesis, Amen, that he drew, breathed, breath into an nostril. Amen. He became a soul. Amen. So, God is able to do all things, and it's nothing too hard for God. It's nothing impossible for God. God is great, and greatly to be praised. Amen. I just thank God, and I praise Him on tonight. Amen. I thank God for whoever's listening out there. Amen. That want to know that God is able. Amen. God do sees the pain. God do sees the hurt. Amen. God is able to heal you and deliver you and set you free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So don't worry if our God got your back. Amen. He want to save you. He want to deliver you. He want to set you free tomorrow. Amen. So come on and call. Amen. So God can come in your life. That's so God can heal you. So God can deliver you. So God can save you. So God can turn your life around. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I just give God the glory and the honor and the praise. Amen. For so being encouraged. Amen. Call. Amen. If you need prayer, we are pray for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just have a blessed night. Amen. And I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I want to I wanna make an observation mm-hmm. to us that's listening, especially you that are in the New York City area. <laughs> looking for her. Everyone that spoke are. Oh, everyone that spoke. Everyone that spoke so far gave us a testimony of longevity in this ministry. And one another thing I noticed about them, they're happy about where they are. They're, they're with the ministry. The ministry has been a blessing to them, and they're happy where they are. And somebody is looking, you searching, and saying, Lord, I need to find a place that I can serve you and do for you the way I want to do, I need to you put in my spirit to do. And the place you at is not conducive to that. So I, I invite you, I invite you to 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 uh, uh, touch base with uh, Revival Center Temple of Deliverance Worldwide Ministries that they will, you see, we're seeing. All these witnesses, they're, they're a tremendous blessing. They're changing their lives, changing the ministries, changing their lives, their circumstances, everything. Would you please give us your contact phone number again so that if someone is listening, they can call and be directed to Dr. Kennedy. Amen. And that number is 718-907-0996. Again, seven one eight nine zero seven zero nine nine six. Also, make the announcement for Sunday afternoon. Okay. And uh, on Sunday, November the eighth, our Apostle Stephen Amaker of Deliverance by Faith. Cathedral of Deliverance will be our guest preacher, and we look forward to being blessed by his ministry. So if you need healing, you need encouragement, you need a word from the Lord, come and join us. The service will be held at 23 Louisiana Avenue between Hegeman and Williams Avenue at 4 p.m. 
Again, the service will be held at 23 Louisiana Avenue between Hegeman and Williams Avenue at 4 p.m. November 8th. Amen. All are welcome. God bless you. Yes. We are expecting God to, we're expecting a move from God, not a visitation. I don't believe I don't believe you visit your own house. Come on. Amen. <laughs> nobody nobody visits their home. And this Amen. is the house of God. And so we're expecting but the Lord to meet us there. We come and to meet him there and we haven't we're gonna hear what he said. I'm believing that the Lord is I, I'm I'm uh Dr. Kennedy, uh, uh she's been in my notes. The word the Lord gave us tonight, she, she's been in the Holy Ghost is speaking. She's, some of the things she said is the same thing that's been, been marinating in my spirit. And so we're looking for God. The time is 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, go to your church. Go to your church and don't get too full. Come on, come on back out. Uh, 23 Louisiana Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, that's in the East New York section of Brooklyn. You're welcome. You're more than welcome, as, as the woman of God or stated. You're welcome. Okay, uh, can we take a few more calls, and then I'm going to give it back to uh, Dr. Kennedy that she can uh, do whatever the Lord has put in her spirit, even if, if she desires to end now. Then we, we will do that, too. Uh, the next, next number we have is... The, Zero, okay, they, I think they just did. 2340, you're on the line. That's me. Okay. 0213, you spoke yet? Okay, I was the announcer. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Praise our God. Amen. We just thank and praise God again. Amen for the word of God. And I want you to know tonight that the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And we just want you to know tonight that God is faithful. The word lets us know that so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, that it shall accomplish that which I sent it. That you can put your trust in God. He is faithful. He is not a man that he should lie neither the Son of Man, that he should repent. If God spoke it, he will make it good. You can put your trust in the Lord. The Bible says that some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I'm going to trust in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord tonight. I want you to know that God loves you on tonight. He loved you so much that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Wouldn't it be wonderful to know where you would spend eternally, eternity on tonight? In the arms of the Savior. Amen. He gave his best to us. He gave us his only begotten son. He that knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God, that we might have the right to the tree of life. He took our place on the cross was the propitiation for our sins. The Bible says that he was wounded for my transgressions, that he was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him, and with his stripes I'm already healed. It's already been done. It's already been taken care of. He took it on that cross. He took it for cancer. He took it for AIDS. He took it for diabetes. Whatever your issue, whatever your struggle, whatever your circumstances is, he already did it. It's already been accomplished. All you have to do is just align yourself with him. Give yourself to the Lord tonight. While you have the opportunity, while there's still breath, where there's breath, there's hope. Hope in the Lord tonight. Trust in him tonight. Try him tonight. Put him to the test. You tried this and you tried that. You looked over here and you looked over there. Try Jesus. I dare you to try him. I dare you to trust him. He is good. There is none like him. I tried him for one, myself one day, and I found out that can nobody do you like Jesus. 
not a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, not a cigarette, not alcohol, not a bottle of pills. Nobody is better to me than God. I trust that on tonight, that you heard something on tonight that will make you turn around and make steps toward the kingdom of God. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, 8697, your mic is open, your mind is open. Would you like to have words, please? Phone number, the last four digits, 8697. Amen. Brother Jimmy, are you there? Mm-hmm. Must have hung up. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I know this person is going to speak. And uh, you're like a, like a, 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 a race horse in the stall, ready to go. Come on, uh, Pastor Mike. Uh, Praise. Words. Praise. Praise. And, and, and and give us whatever the Lord has given you. Amen, amen. I tell you, what what was said here this evening was right on. This is what needs to be brought out everywhere, across the airwaves, across the globe, everywhere. I tell you, it's about exactly what the uh, the Dr. Kennedy apostle has said here this evening. I agreed with it two million and one percent. I tell you, it, it's uh, exactly the truth, and uh, and I was uh, having to repent during some of it myself because it's a mindset where I get into the mully grubs of not believing and in, in getting into my circumstances, and then I had to sit here and repent, Lord. I I'm I'm guilty as charged, you know, and I'm I was repenting while she was preaching. So, you know, that was good. I'm glad that that was brought across because I needed to hear what I needed to hear to get right. Because, you know, it's just uh, things. The enemy is coming uh, harder upon the saints that are doing things for God. And if we're not doing and speaking, doing, being a doer of the word and not a hearer only, but being a doer of the word and and getting out and doing it each and every day, having that daily relationship with the Lord and walking and talking and being his friend and being with him, knowing and knowing him. And he, he already knows us, so we can't pull the wool over his eyes. He already knows what I'm going to say before I even say it. So, you know, he, he has to okay. be in my heart continually because i used to be a drug addict and alcoholic for 21 years and this is going on 28 years walking with the lord being set free because of the lord and i say in love shame shame on christian dome for not not sharing the word of god to me because nobody uh out there shared the word of god to me when i was out on the streets and out on, you know, at work and different places about Jesus Christ. It was the Lord that came to me in that treatment center. He was the one, because my mother and grandmother and other intercessor prayer people that were praying for me, he was the one that came into that treatment center and sought me out. And, you know, and since then, I've been with him ever since. And it's been a rocky road, but he has always been there, and he has always shown me the way the Holy Ghost will never fail you folks jesus will never fail you as as the 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 saying goes god's always got one more move it's like a chess game he's all he'll never leave you in checkmate god's always got one more move you know you think your back's against the wall you think the devil's saying i got you and god's going i've got one more move and it's it's always at the last second. At least that is with me in, in my situation. So, you know, what was said here this evening was such a blessing. And uh, I really commend the uh, Dr. Kennedy in bringing the word, being sensitive to the Holy Ghost, and being being here. And, and yes, I would like I would like some prayer, uh, Dr. Kennedy, uh, you know, before we go any farther, if it's okay. I've really been having, and I've been sharing with Apostle, I've been going through some stuff, and, and I know I'm not whining and complaining, but I've been not doubting God, but 
it's just like, man, <laughs> I know I'm a diamond in the rough. I'm a lump of coal, you know. But uh, it's getting, it's gotten real, real tough here lately. And I'm not questioning God. I'm not doubting God, but I just need direction. That's Amen. all. Praise God. Apostle Amica, did you want me to pray or do you yes, want to say Yes, of course, something? by all means, yes. Amen. Brother Mike, a song came to my heart for you. Amen. I want to just sing a little bit of that song. Okay. And then I'm going to pray. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Oh, God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. It was amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. You know that I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. All because God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Oh, yes, you know God has smiled on me. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good to me. God has smiled on you, Brother Mike. Down through the years, you have testimonies. <laughs> oh, things yeah. that God brought you out and brought oh, you yeah. And he wants you to remember tonight that he is with you. One of the most important things that you can understand is that God is with you. You know the poem about footprints when yes, the person that wrote it said that I seen <laughs> footprints when I was through certain troubles mm -hmm. and trials. But when I was going through this last thing, I only saw one footprint. And I liked that. Because God spoke and replied back and said, it wasn't that I wasn't with you. He said, because I was carrying you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, ma'am. During your roughest times, I want you to know that God's carrying you, Brother Mike. He has brought you through so many things. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. You have numerous testimonies, <laughs> and I don't even know you. But the Lord said, you have numerous testimonies testimonies. And if he brought you through that, he's going to bring you through what you're going through right now. Amen. Some things come to make us stronger. Amen. Some things come to build us up. And God's saying he wants to increase your faith. Amen. He wants you to get back in more prayer, yep. more fasting. And you need to get in the word of God more. Amen. See, one thing about the Bible is this. The Bible is the only book that you can read. And it'll read you back. Amen. He'll show us what we're lacking and what we need. Amen. Yes, ma'am. And I decree and declare to you tonight that a change is coming in your life. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God is going to deliver you out of your dilemma. Amen. Amen. And God wants your faith increased. Amen? Amen. He said faith comes by hearing the word of God. Amen. So what God wants you to put in your ear gate more than anything else is his word. Amen. Amen. Less television, more word. Amen. More prayer, more fasting, more praise. Yes, ma'am. More worship. You don't have to go to church and hear the right, That's right. hear the Hammond organ, hit the right tune, or the keyboard, amen, or the drummer's beat. You can worship him. Amen. In your home, all you got to do is just think about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for you. Think about Amen. where he brought you from. 
And he's done for you that nobody else could do a drug program. Couldn't oh, do yeah. Nobody else, whatever you went through, the only thing and the only one that delivered you was God. Amen. He brought you that way for a reason. So you can, number one, tell the saints that they need to get back on their job. And number two, know that he is God and there is no other God That's to right. him. Amen. Man. That when God wants to reach you, when God wants to get someone's attention, amen, he knows how to reach us just where we are. That's right. And at that note, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to touch and agree with me, saints. Touch and agree with me, Apostle Amica. Amen. We believe in God for a miracle, in for miracle healing for our brother Mike, miracle deliverance, in the name total of restoration and renewal of strength. Of and we're going to pray that God will release finances, in supernatural the yes. finances, Ooh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to say even right there, I want to remind the saints and encourage us tonight that the more we worship him, for who he is, the more we extol a praise, oh, bye, bye. Sure. amen, for what he's already yes. done, amen, that inspires God to move in yes. our bye, bye. behalf more, yes. amen, nobody wants or appreciates an ungrateful friend, an ungrateful trial, child or spouse, when someone is so ungrateful, you really don't want to do anything for them, but the more grateful we are to God. Amen. And appreciate and magnify and lift him up. That's right. Amen. The more God will do for us. Amen. 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 Do I have a witness for that tonight? Amen. Amen. Do I have a witness to that tonight? Amen. We can't be God's given. We got to love him. We can't give him back. Amen. Praise God. Not a fraction of what he's given to us, but we can give him thanks. We can adore him. We can give him praise. Amen. Amen. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight bringing Brother Mike, bringing those that don't have the nerve or won't even call for prayer. Amen. We pray for them tonight. We loose the anointing that destroys everything. In the name of Jesus, and your word healed. We send the sure word of healing, the sure word of Yes. The sure word of manifestation of your glory. We in the name the of revival of no yes. We speak healing from the in top of his head to the yes. soles of his feet, down in the innermost being of his oh. belly. In the name of Jesus, you know his needs tonight. You know the heart's desire. Ah, God, and we know that yes. he loves you tonight. Ah, my God, you didn't have to get on the line and say that you had to repent. Ah, because your heart is towards God. Ah, and you said tonight that all things work together for the good for them that love you and are the called according to your purpose. Ah, God, I'm asking that you turn things around for him tonight. Turn it for the good. Yes, Lift him way Strengthen him way weaker. Block him Hallelujah. up in the name Ura, ba, 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 da, da, da. We lose restoration. We lose manifestation. And we lose God, I decree that you be healed even yeah. right now. Yeah. In the name we pray. And we say thank you tonight. Ah, oh, we give you praise tonight. We give you glory tonight. Ah, oh, God, because your prayer has no ears, no walls. No 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 sin, hell, and ah, oh, God, heal and deliverance. Ah, throughout yes. the world, airwaves tonight. We speak change tonight. We speak victory tonight over the lives of your people in, in Jesus the name of Jesus. name ah God we thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory and we give yes. you honor and we're calling it done right now yes. ah, God, we bless them tonight in the name Come on, believers, and lift your hands and praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a spirit, and we that worship him must do it in spirit and in truth. Brother Mike, if you begin to praise him, yes. even right now, thank you, Lord. Give God praise. Thank you, Lord. Are, give him praise. Praise, praise you, Jesus. And receive the anointing. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. You are the Almighty. You are the El Shaddai. I receive that yes. tonight. Yes. You are the El Shaddai. To get back in the Word. To get yes. back in fasting. 
Yes, we glorify you, Lord. Yes, we do somebody to cry out yes, Lord. God do to be silent. We glorify you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We speak to doors. Yes, we do the shadow of the glory of God. Holy Ghost, come on in. Ah, yes, Lord. Let for us tonight. Praise and we find the very spirit of retribution. Ah, God, and retaliation. And we forbid yes, the enemy to work. Yes, Lord. In Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Yes, Lord. Glory oh, to God. Oh, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Bless him. Bless Thank him. you, Bless Lord. Him. Thank oh you, Lord. No, no, no. Thank you, Lord. Hey, glory to God. We give you Thank the glory, you. honor, and praise that is due to you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. We thank him. He yes. is a miracle working God. La the you are the El Shaddai, the yes. And had no sorrow. Yes, Lord. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. I would, like to, I would like to remind us, one, uh Bible says uh, that his word shall not go out void. It will accomplish everything that he set it out. That's right. And even though uh, we might not have got a response live on the broadcast, but there are some that will be ministered to in the archives. And the Amen. same anointing that has been the experiencing now will be evident when they listen and hear the ministry of Dr. Kennedy tonight. That's right. Uh, again, this is going all over the world. Yes. People all over the world will hear this. Africa, Germany, uh, Russia, uh, uh, so many, I think, over 60 countries in the world will hear this right. and hear in the United States. And so I'm praising God. I'm praising God. I'm praising God. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. For the revival of souls. Yes. Somebody, somebody, somebody wants it right. Amen. Somebody wants it right. There's a remedy of people that are looking for the real manifestation of God and and, and not just the, the game that, that different people play, uh, but they're looking and, and, and we thank God for being real in our lives, that the word that we speak is life and it brings forth life. Uh, the Lord just confirmed, I know she knows it, but the Lord confirmed to us that are listening and witnessing how much the word that was preached tonight needed to be heard. That's right. So guess what? If the mic is here, there's a million more that need to hear this word. Amen. God is going to open it up to them. He's going to open it up to them, and, and they will hear this word, and they, they, will, they will respond to the word. Give the phone number one more time, the mailing address, so that they can put it, make sure they make it down, because I believe you're going to get responses. What's the, uh, the ministry phone number and mailing address, please? Okay, the number is 718-907-0996. Again, that number is 718-907. 0996. Mm -hmm. Also, you can write to us at Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide, Inc. at P.O. Box 120966, Brooklyn, New York, 11212. Again, Revival Center of Deliverance, 
Worldwide Inc., P.O. Box, 120-966, Brooklyn, New York, 11212. The Lord just made another observation to me. We have Dr. Veronica Kennedy and the Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide Ministries. We have Pastor Mike, host of Revival Fire broadcast. And then we have Deliverance by Faith. Now, what I was, what the point of out was, the two ministries here of Revival, and the, and when Revival comes, Deliverance got to be here. One Amen. for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. We just thank God. We thank God. Pastor Kennedy, you're welcome to... Amen. Uh, have final words and close us out if the Lord is finished. If not, you're welcome to keep on ministering and whatever the Lord is putting in the Spirit. Amen. Unless someone else desires special prayer tonight, amen, praise God. Remember, we will check, and if you have called and left a voicemail or message, amen, on the number that was given for the ministry, we will get back to you tonight, amen. Praise God. And after the broadcast is over, we encourage you to continue to call. If you hear this message next week or tomorrow and you have that number, call. Leave your name. Leave a message. We promise you that someone will get back to you, will pray for you. We will not forget about you. Amen. We want you to know that God loves you on tonight. Pastor Mike, I love you on tonight. Amen. And I thank God for your clarity, your sincerity, because so many of us need to. Amen. Praise God. We need to repent and go back to God. Amen. And acknowledge thank you. that we've gone in our own way. Amen. Praise our God. We've strayed. We've, amen, not prayed like we should have and done the things we should have done. None of us have dotted every I and crossed every T. But we know that God is a deliverer on tonight. Amen. 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 When we love him more than, amen, praise God, more than the things of the world. Amen. Because this is not our home. We are right. just passing through. We say that, but you don't know how true it That's is. That's right. Anything we love more than God is a sin. Anything we put before God, amen, praise God. Our relationship with God is a sin. I know that we should love one another, love our families, love our children, but we can't stack up and pile up and build up as if we're going to live on this earth forever. We're going to leave here. And our real home is to be with the Lord. Amen. So we need to make preparations every day. Amen. We need to be packing up, the old folks used to say, so that we can be ready to go back with him. If we be in right standing with God, amen, and do the things that please God, amen, nothing, no good thing, he said, will I hold back or keep from those that love me and walk up right. Amen. Amen. I never see your face and never hear or meet you again. Amen. I might miss you. I might, amen, praise God, feel it. But it's not going to cost me anything. But if I meet Jesus and turn away, uh -oh. I've lost him. Amen. So let us think about that tonight. Amen. Praise our God. It was his amazing grace. Oh, my God, it was so amazing that kept us, that's keeping us right now. And we thank God for every one of you here on tonight. Amen. And that's under the sound of my voice. And that will even hear, amen, this word later. Know that nobody loves you like Jesus. Nobody loves you so much. Let me tell you, he loves you so much that every strand of hair on your hair has on your head has been numbered. If you comb out a comb full, you can't even number them. Only God can love you like that. Amen. Remember, nobody loves you like that. And there is no one and nothing worth you dying without Jesus. If you, amen, are hearing this and you're not saved and you say, I want to believe and I want to receive Jesus tonight, I don't want to close out this broadcast without giving you the opportunity to just lift your hands. The Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth 
Amen. That he died and rose again the third day in the flesh. And you repent of your sin and receive him. Amen. That you can be saved. Amen. So I invite you tonight to say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. And I need to be saved. Forgive me for all of my I acknowledge that you died on the cross and rose again the third day in the flesh. And I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Save me. Deliver me. Set me free. And I receive you as Lord. You know what that means? That I receive you to be in control of my life from now on. Get on a good Bible-believing church. Call either of these pastors. Amen. Praise our God. I don't know where Pastor Mike is. Amen. Where his church is located. Amen. He perhaps can give you that information, and you can look for him and seek after him. Maybe you're in his area. Maybe you're in Apostle Amica's area. Or maybe you are in the area of the Revival Center of Deliverance Worldwide Incorporated. You can get in touch. Amen. Praise our God. With these preachers, you can call. You can send us a letter. Amen. Praise God. Would Pastor Mike like to give his information? Uh, right now, I don't I have a church. I just have the Internet radio stations that I'm running. I'm running 14 Internet radio stations. This one that we're broadcasting over right now worldwide. And uh, you can go to my uh, website. It is uh, www.com consuming fire radio number two dot blogspot dot com and you can email me at consuming fire radio number two at gmail dot com amen god bless you tonight and if you have a prayer request or something Pastor Mike would know how to get in touch with Amen. the Apostle Amica right. and your word it wouldn't come back void and someone Amen will reach back out to you Amen Apostle Amica do you have something you want to give in a way about uh, or anything else before I close out uh, just a reminder uh, Sunday at 4 o'clock uh, we'll be at a revival revival uh, center Temple of the Deliverance, 23, 23 Moody Hill Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, cross Street is Hageman and Williams, uh, East New York. You know, we, I'm not a celebrity. I'm, I'm coming to see a celebrity. You're coming to meet them to experience yeah. the move of God. So I would Amen. invite you to come and, and experience the Lord with us. On this, okay. we're lifting and we're celebrating we're fellowshipping with uh, Revival Temple, and you're welcome to come. You're welcome to come. God bless you, uh, Dr. Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you and to all the uh, Revival Revival Temple Center mm-hmm. deliverance uh, ministries and ministers. Thank you for taking the time out this this time to to minister to us and to bless us. It's been a tremendous blessing. I'm just so thankful to God. All of you that have, uh, again, taken the time out to minister to us. Uh, God bless you, uh, uh, Apostle Dr. Kennedy, in your ministry. What I'm, I'm trying to, I don't want to say a lot because I want to hold something for Sunday. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Uh, Amen. We're looking forward for you coming at 4 p.m. Sunday. Afternoon. Right. We're just moving right now and stuff is stirring up. Okay, hold on. And uh, so. I just, I just, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. From Lady A and myself, we say thank you, thank you uh, for taking the time and ministering. You, you may have Amen. a word. God bless. Thank you for inviting us. I think that there's another announcement. Amen. Please do it. Hold on. Praise God. Amen. Yes. We thank God for oh. you. Praise the Lord. Amen. On Sunday, November the 15th, at 4 p.m., our Pastor Kennedy will be preaching a Women's Day service at the House of Faith Church of Holiness, Inc., at 407 Saratoga Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, at 4 p.m. 
So if you're not busy, come out and help us lift up the name of Jesus and hear a word from the Lord. Again, that's at right. Thank you. the House of Faith, Church of Holiness, 407 Saratoga Avenue. It will be at 4 p.m. Amen. I look forward to your having uh, to come. Amen. And again, we're looking forward to your coming and gracing us with the word of God, Apostle Amica, and your wonderful wife. Amen. And we want you all to come and help us lift up the name of Jesus. Come looking to receive from the Lord. Amen. Don't come looking for the crowd. Don't come looking. Amen. Praise God. Being a speculator. But come being, amen, praise our God, a participator. In Jesus' name, we thank God for you, and especially you, and again, Pastor Mike, and every one of Revival Center of Deliverance, our pastors, those we don't know by name, we love you with the love of the Lord. Amen? Praise God. And we know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask and that we can think tonight. Amen? Amen. Now we pray that God bless you, that he yeah. keep you, that he strengthen you. Yeah. And we thank him tonight. Yeah. Amen. For the word of God, not returning void, but accomplishing what he sent it out to do. Yeah. I pray that you have sweet dreams. Uh-huh. I pray that the Lord covers you with the blood, that he saves your family, that he draws, that he meet every need. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say thank God. Thank God. Tell somebody that you love them, and they can't do a thing about it. Amen. And amen. And God bless you on tonight. And heaven smile upon you. Thank you. Well, I'll outro, please. That's the mic. Okay, here. Thank you for joining us today. We would love to hear from you. You may contact our ministry office by calling 754-244-6585. Again, that's 754-244-6585. By writing us at Deliverance by Faith Ministries, 300 Marcus Garvey Boulevard, Brooklyn, New York, 11221. Again, that's 300 Marcus Garvey Boulevard, Brooklyn, New York, 11221. By email, www.deliverancebyfaith2 at gmail.com. Again, that's www.deliverancebyfaith2 at gmail.com. We pray that this broadcast has motivated, encouraged, and enlightened you. Thank you so much for listening.